was saying. I think we were talking about a different kind of buzz here. Champagne, anyone? Did you cut yourself? Yeah, shaving this morning. It hurts. Wow. Maybe we should talk about it and analyze what your problem is. Owie. Those are some interesting looking band aids. Um, Deco has a toast of the season. Look at that. Aubrey Aquino in the house here with what we need to know about the bubbly. Hey, I Aubrey. I hope you brought hey, guys. samples. <laughs> I have one. I have one for you. Champagne's the way to celebrate the season in style. So whether you're sharing or toasting, here's a few do's and don'ts before you get to bottle popping. First of all, I want to thank my connect, the most important person with all due respect. Is the season for champagne. Deco stopped in at Sobe's W Wine Boutique for a little education. So whether you're giving it as a gift or just want to be in the know, Deco's with the Champagne Master, so listen up. Champagne is all about the bubbles. It's, it tickles the senses, and people really find it very luxurious. It, it symbolizes luxury. First, a gift for the hostess with the mostest, the Piper Heights at Cuvée Brut. It's perfect because it's crisp, and it's smooth, and it goes well with all different kinds of hors d'oeuvres. It's a celeb fave, too. Marilyn Monroe, that was one of her favorite champagnes. Eva Longoria put the bottles in her wedding gift bag and Kate Walsh favors it too. Cute, cute. It also comes in a baby bottle. And the great thing for those single gals, there's no cleanup. Now for the fashionista in your life. The VNR or Victor and Rolf Rosé Sauvage. Mm -hmm. And the rosé is very popular. Oh, rosé is the hot category. In Milan, they have a boutique that everything is upside down. So it has nothing to do with making the champagne taste better. It's just, just upside that's down. That's just how they do things. That's just how they do things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's limited edition and it's a collector's item. So Here's a manly pick. Charles Heidzig is a rich, full-bodied champagne. It goes great with cuisine. can hold up to actually even a steak. Unless you've just won a sports championship or a NASCAR race, there's really no reason to be shaking the bottle. It's just not necessary. It already has plenty of fizz in there. I mean, there's approximately 49 million bubbles. There is three times the amount of pressure of a car tire in every bottle of champagne. A couple more fun facts to make you champagne savvy. It always takes six twists. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how you take it off. And post pour, this is how to hold it just right. You hold it by the stem, and what I do is I put my pinky right underneath it so I can have a stable base. But what good is champagne without a proper toast? May all of your joys be pure joys and all of your pain champagne. I am a fan of the rose champagne. You can see I have one of the limited edition collector Victor and Rolf rose champagne bottles. It's got an arrow this side up. Lynn Louis, cheers. I'll leave the pop into you. Thank you, Aubrey. I hope you iced that, that for us. Excellent. <laughs> pop our cork.